here's what's beautiful about nature's work. Please tell me there, something there's, beautiful. <laughs> um, it doesn't it doesn't let us escape from trying to figure out what's going on. This contradiction between good and evil, good and bad, positive things we see in reality, negative things we see in, in reality. This constant contradiction forces us to evolve consciously. It, this is what evolves human consciousness. This living between opposites, this existence in between the plus and minus, this contra constant contradictory reality that we feel. Man has tried for, you know, from the dawn of time, from, or at least from the moment we became more self-aware and conscious of where we are, we are trying to figure out what is the story. What are all, where, where do all religions come from? You see, Corona Goddess, just think about that, you know, think humanity a couple thousand years ago, think about how all of this has evolved. Man started, you know, man felt it's his dependency on the forces of nature. We're seeing that on the one hand, rain comes and it, it, it brings crops. And on the other hand, there's horrible storms that, that we, we, we have to hide, hide, you know, so they don't kill us, right? So is nature good or bad? And as long as, as nature was um, clearly superior to us, we were more uh, inclined to solve this problem, this riddle, this contradictory existence that we live in. We were more inclined to solve it in religious fashions, by ways of believing, because we always felt like nature is superior to us. But when we started becoming more modern, more uh, scientifically inclined, more feeling like we are less and less dependent on nature, we don't have to live in a cave, we can live in our own building with our air conditioning and get our food from the supermarket, we don't depend on the rain so much, we have artificial irrigation, whatever it is, you know, we became more and more seemingly independent of the forces of nature, and that made us change our story. And so um, that's what's beautiful, <laughs> that's where I started, right? Is that nature doesn't let us escape figuring this out. This is how I would see it from a Kabbalistic perspective. Nature will continue even as modern and scientifically evolved and, and capable of harnessing the forces of nature to our own good as we think we are. Nature is still stronger and nature is gradually developing our consciousness to come to terms, to come to grips, to solve that riddle of why do we feel that we're in a contradictory existence. Is nature good or bad? Is it supposed to, does it, is it good to us or bad to us? And are we supposed to be something towards it as well? Are we supposed mm -hmm. to? Your nature provides plenty of everything but just kind of left to run on autopilot with us, we end up having, a, you know, we keep like crashing the, sh crashing the car and, yeah. and having a bad experience. And we would have to honestly say nature is not so kind to us. But you see, this is your, your, uh, indirectly talking about the same question here. You're actually asking what is the role of the human in the natural system. That's the one thing that we need to be trying to figure out. That's what I'm saying nature is pushing us to figure out.